slowly change the dimensions are a mechanism by which we store history in the dimension data that we record. So for example, your operational systems, if the data changes, we normally overwrite it because we're not interested in the previous version of that record. But for historical reporting purposes, we normally want to know what that record was previously. So in the data warehouse, we version those records and they're called slowly changing dimensions. Now, the big issue we have is that Ralph Kimball in his design book um, introduced this concept and there's a type 2 slowly changing dimension which is the most popular one where we preserve history. The tendency is for people to do a type 2 slowly changing dimension on virtually everything. And the problem that has, we get a lot more data in our dimensions and the processing, the data manipulation becomes far more complex. So what we now recommend is keep them down to a bare minimum unless you absolutely need them. And then if you preserve your staging data then you can always rebuild your slowly changing dimensions at a later stage should the business need them. But when you first implement your data warehouse, keep them down to a minimum because it keeps your processing simpler. Let your users understand what they want. Then when they come to you and say, actually, we wanted history on this, you can then add that at a later stage if you've got the persistent staging area with your data.